I'm going down here to where our electrical panel is, our sub panel to the house. Your, most houses are gonna have a sub panel somewhere. Sometimes they're outside, you know, or in your garage, outside your garage. If you live in a, uh, or a condo or an apartment complex, it might be, might be situated in, um, behind a door in the bathroom or a storage closet or something like that. Or it might be somewhere else. You don't even know where it's at. You may have to ask the, uh, uh, the superintendent where it is and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna look at this. And you look on here and see all of these say 15. And they used to have some over here that say 20, see? And then here's some more. They're 15. So these are called twin uh, circuit breakers. Lots of circuit breakers may be that fat with a big fat uh, on off, okay? Or they, they put twins in here. There's two circuits right here instead of just one. So if you've got an electrical panel, you got one and they're all filled up, you need to add another circuit or something, you can take them out a fat one and put in a twin like this, depending what you're installing and all that kind of stuff. But enough of that. Let's, let's first off look at all these and see what types of things they're going to. See on this side, usually you're gonna have a panel schedule like this somewhere, okay? And this, this would be the top left, which is this one. And then the next one would be this next one, so forth and so on. And you look real close over here. It's hard to see. This is one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. That means one. And if you put two in there, that's one, two, three, four, five. You see what I mean? But one, three, five, seven. I'm wrong. It's not one, two, three. In this panel, this is one, and there's two in one. Area three, there's two. Because see over here, this is one, three, five, seven, nine, and so forth and so on. If it was longer, it would go further. And then over here is two, four, six, eight. See, there's two, and this says six. There's a four. It's hard to see it. There's a four in there. And it's just the light is hard to see. But in any case, we go back here and we look at that. These are all 15s. And that means all of these circuits can be run off of 14 2 gauge wire, 14 gauge wire for all 15 amp circuits, uh, 12 gauge wire for 20 amp circuits. Okay? 12 gauge wire, it's a fatter wire and it's got more. Uh, amps on it. It's got X, five extra amps and a 15 amp. So obviously you need a thicker wire for that. Okay? So when we look when we look on this all, side over here, these are all 15 amp. Here's bath hallway, downstairs, hall, exercise, lights, bedroom, exercise plugs, rec room lights, rec master lights, rec room plugs, master plugs, laundry lights, Entry lights, guest room, study, kitchen lights, laundry, GFI, family room, garage GFI. Okay, all of those are 14 gauge wire. What does that tell you? Electrical outlets, which is plugs, are on circuits for 14 gauge wire. Uh, light fixtures, most lights. See, LTS, LTS, entry, most lights are 14 amp circuits which are uh, 15 amp breakers for 14 gauge wire, okay? And so the 20, that's for the furnace, washing, washer, which is washing machine. Here's another one for a furnace. Here's bath, GFI circuits. Jetted tub, bath, GFI. Uh, ironing board, refrigerator, that tells you those are different things with motors and different things. Bath GFI was is an electrical outlet by in the bathroom because you're gonna you might use a heating iron, you might use a blow dryer, you might use an electric shaver, razor, something like that. That's gonna take motors. And so if you've got if you got a one outlet, 
one duplex, you might have a heating iron in one and you might have a blow dryer in another. And so that's why they put those on 20 amp circuits. So we know for all the bedrooms, all the, all the electrical outlets and all the light switches are in 15 amp circuits for this particular house. That tells me that I can use 14 gauge wire to hook up the ceiling fan, okay? I got that figured out. So at the store, I'm gonna get 14 gauge wire. Another way to figure it out, if you want, you'd have to turn off a breaker to whatever room it is. You'd have to pull this apart and then you'd have to look at the, at the wires and see uh, what did they do. Well, chances are uh, they're gonna use 14 gauge wire for 15 amp circuits and 12 gauge wire for 20 gauge, for 20 amp circuits. Okay, if they, if they ran 12 gauge wire for uh, 15 amp circuits, you can still do that, but you can't run 14 gauge wire for 20 amp circuits. Does that make sense? You have to use, for the bigger, the 20 amp circuits, you have to use 12 gauge wire. You can't use 14 gauge wire. If you do that, you're under what it's gonna be. So instead of the breaker, tripping or something if you're overloaded on the circuit you might have a fire spark or something in your in your wall and and have a fire start or something like that so i know no matter what i can put 14 gauge wire for my ceiling fan in this particular house now if i found out that that bedroom over there maybe they did something different and they uh they wanted to upgrade or, or do something because they weren't sure what people were going to plug in into into all those different outlets in there. Maybe it was a study, and they're going to and and they're going to uh, use 20 amp circuit because all of the plugs they had no idea on on the electrical outlets what all kinds of different things are going to be plugged into there. And maybe they ran the the lights in that room a 20 gauge too because usually what you do is is on your circuits. In a, in a bedroom or anywhere for that matter, usually your electrical outlets are on, a, on one circuit, all your lights are on different, are on separate light, uh, on a different breaker. You wouldn't go into a bedroom and have all your electrical outlets on, on a breaker and your light switch on the breaker too. Usually you'll go to four or five bedrooms hook up the lights depending on how many lights there are and that kind of stuff. I mean, there's rules on how many lights you can hook up to one circuit and all that kind of stuff. I, I'm kind of getting off track. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, confuse you or anything, but uh, um, they, they just, they just normally do that. So when you've got your lights on or off, you want to turn them off. Uh, you look for that particular circuit in your house you know, for lights and vice versa for your electrical outlets. Just look at your electrical panel, start flipping breakers and you'll get it figured out. But, but for what we need, 14 gauge wire is what we're gonna need for our ceiling fan. Okay, let's go back up into mother's room and uh, look and see what else we're gonna need for our material list. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.